Ian. And just, again, turning back to you, Dave, if you'd give me a, a bit of an idea of um, who the system is designed for, if you would, please. Okay. Well, I mean, it's, it's, that's a really interesting question, because um, it never ceases to amaze me, the, the range of different situations that we get involved with. Um, and, you know, people will sometimes ask us, you know, would you get involved in our, for example, transport strategy? And, um, and they often want to know, do you know anything about transport? Well, of course, we don't know anything about transport. You know, we're not content specialists, if you like. What we're specialists in is the process. You know, what's the process by which a group of people um, or an individual who has to work with a group of people can get real clarity about what it is they're committed to achieving, what exactly is the breakthrough, in, you know, and often in such a crystal clear way that that in itself represents a breakthrough. I mean, you know what it's like, you know, you can have a vague idea about what you're trying to achieve, but when you really get down to the specifics of fundamentally, you know, this is exactly what I want to achieve, often that is a breakthrough in itself. It becomes really clear what the steps are you need to make. And also, you know, the ability to pull people together. So, you know, we get involved in a whole range of different um, situations. Um, you know, everything from building senior teams, uh, where there's been maybe a major change or a merger of organisations uh, through to developing you know, very specific bits of uh, uh, strategy for organisations um, through to indi individual, individual coaching. Um, and there's a whole range of different people. I mean, you know, chief execs down to individuals who just want to make a breakthrough with their particular uh, bit of work that they're, they're, they're doing. Um, but we also do a lot of work with um, you know, people who want to act or need to act as internal facilitators in organisations. You know, because if you look at any organisation, so you, you know, big organisation, it'll have a million and one breakthroughs that it really needs to make. And you know, often quite small things that will almost like an, an, you know, unknot and unleash a lot of potential in the organisation. And if you can place those people around the organisation, the, the, the benefits can be absolutely enormous. Yeah. That's great, thank you. And just um, another one. For another question for you, Ian, really, which is about, you know, if you can you give us a bit of a flavour of some of the techniques that you that you use with people. The flavour. Yeah. The sweet. <laughs> the sweet techniques. Um, I, I think it's worth drawing a distinction, Michael, between um, some of the processes we use and some of the techniques we use. Um, you know, to together form the system, if you like. So um, if we can just talk about a process for a moment. I mean, I. You know, Dave and I and a colleague spend a lot of time wrestling with um, organisations and their strategies. And we have a process, a very systematic process, that um, allows people to um, you know, formulate clear strategies in complex situations. And we have processes that um, enable teams to build trust, and we have processes, which, as Dave said, which allow people to take a kind of long, hard look at themselves. Um, so it's worth understanding the kind of broader architecture of what we do, I think. <coughs> But there's dozens of different techniques. Um, I mean, some of the techniques I find most interesting like, um, are techniques that we use to get people to put themselves in other people's shoes, for example. So, um, you know, very often, um, you know, issues of um, poor communication, people will you know, point to in teams, you know, and also often wag the finger at each other. You know, the, the, yeah, the problem here is, well, it's you, mate. <laughs> Um, subtle wags of the finger and um, we, we have a series of techniques we use that are designed to help people generate empathy for each other's situations. They might not agree with them but you know let's get them to understand each other. And on the back of simple techniques like that um, you know the quality of people's communication relationships improve and, and then anything's possible. Yeah so um, certain processes and particular techniques and I think that's our, uh, it's, it's part of what we do well, I think, is we, you know, we've thought through the broader architecture of how things change, but we're very practical people. And people, you know, who work with us or come on our programmes, uh, uh, go away with a little toolbox, really. Uh, plenty of little things to try. Mm. That's great. Thank you. Thank you very much.